who he was looking at on that. Uh, I didn't know who he was looking at on the uh, on his screen. But when he asked that first question, he said, who will help us out? Amen. I was just praising and magnifying God. Amen. That I could then just chime in behind you. So I just thank God so much uh, for you. And I want to say congratulations to you, if you are, uh, uh, that you made this huge accomplishment and you committed to excellence in ministry. And I thank God for that. Amen. While so many people would want to just be comfortable with the title. Amen. You were willing and committed to do the work. And I just praise God for your integrity in the gospel. And I thank God once again for this awesome school. Amen. I'm looking forward to continue on, continuing on and also inviting others uh, that I know people have been asking me, where am I attending school now? And, and I've been sharing with them and I plan on just partnering in because I thank God. I, I'm the type of person I believe in getting involved where God is blessing. Amen. So I th once again, I just thank God for this opportunity and God bless you, Hua, on this wonderful day. Amen. Thank God. Give God, unmute and give God a hand praise, everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for those words of encouragement. And next we'll have our next speaker, Sister Coleman. Oh, wow. This is such an honor and I wanna say thank you first to Dr. Melvoris Fulton for So Faith School of Ministry and being such a great leader. And to my instructors, Dr. Mel Silas and Pastor Beverly Silas, you two are amazing, amazing people. And I am so thankful to God that he has brought me in your presence. I. I feel so um, relieved every time I have to go online to either one of your classes because I know I'm gonna get something good. And I always leave with something good. And I wanna say thank you first. Then I wanna say thank you to my classmates. Hua, her, girl, you are amazing. Praise God, praise God. You have been so supportive so instrumental in me just getting through the last two years of my education here, and I'm going to miss you, but I wrote something and I just want to read it. And it's from the bottom of my heart, who are from me to you. Who are her, you are a holy, undeniably accomplished, highly educated, resilient, spiritually equipped woman of God. You're a phenomenal woman, Hula. You've motivated me to keep me going. You have intentionally been present for me throughout the last two years. And I am so thankful and grateful to God and to you to have you give me the support that I needed. Your spiritual guidance and encouragement has given us a special physical and spiritual sisterhood. You're gonna be my sister for life. You didn't know that, but you're gonna be my sister for life, Hua. I wish you so much success and perpetual pr prosperity as you move through the next chapter in your amazing God-filled life. Now rest in God's peace as Dr. Mel taught us and go forward with your powerfully joyful Holy Spirit. I love you and I highly respect you, my God sister. It is finished to us and now you can move forward. I love you. Thank you for all you did for me. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And, and classmate Terilyn is on the line and she will be our last classmate's words of encouragement, Terilyn. Hello, Hua, um, and congratulations to you. Uh, giving um, honor to Dr. Malvora Fulton, Pastor Ralph, uh, our, our, our Dean, and Pastor Ralph, and also to my educators, my leaders, my professors. Uh, I just want to say praise God for you, uh, Pastor Dr. Mel, and um, First Lady Bev. I have grown so much uh, since being a part of SoFi, um, SoFi, So Faith Ministries. And I just thank God, I'm learning so much, I'm humbled. Um, I thought I knew a lot until I got into class. 
and I've learned so much. I've learned a lot from Hua. Uh, Hua has a spirit of excellence. Hua, you not only have a spirit of excellence, but you motivate us to dig deeper, not to surface read, not to, to um, just, just glance over what we're reading, but to dig deep. Your ability to go and, and be so detailed is something that um, I've really never seen in anyone. Um, except, of course, our leaders. And so I am just blessed by you and my um, fellow classmates. I just appreciate you so much, and I'm so proud of you. And so who, if I could say a word about you, uh, I would say that you are truly a woman that is seeking after God's heart. You know that he's the lover of our soul and that you have a spirit of excellence. Don't ever let that go. Don't ever let go of that spirit of excellence and you also have a spirit of compassion for others. And I just truly appreciate you. So congratulations on this amazing day. And I'm so, part, so, so proud to be a part of this. And I'm proud of you. And I look forward to continuing um, my education um, with So Faith Ministries because Step Out on Faith Ministries because I know it is making a difference in my life. And it's changed my whole perspective about who I am and who God is. So thank you. God bless. Thank you. God bless. God bless. And you know, our I said final, but our final remarks today will come from a woman who has known Hula for a long time. And it wouldn't be a great graduation without having, having words from her favorite mommy in the ministry, Pastor Lady Beth. Would you please have the final remarks? Daughter Hua, I am so blessed and honored that you allowed me to be your godmom. You have always shown excellence. You have always shown compassion. You've always been committed and you care about God's people. You care how you represent God. You care how you represent his word. And with that being said, I honor you today. And I want you to know that I will always love you. And I'll always be here for you. And I'll always push you to the next level. Even when you were saying, I'm tired, I'm tired. <laughs> I kept saying, no, it's not time yet, daughter. And like a good daughter, you followed the instructions. I'm so blessed, again, I say, to have you in my life. Continue to do what God has assigned for you. Do not allow no one to deter what God has placed in you. Know that I will push you in every area I can to help you to accelerate to the next level that God has for you. Be blessed, my daughter. I love you. Amen. 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 Beautiful words of encouragement. And now we'll have a musical selection at this time. Thank you so much.
praises together. We'll sing, Lord, you've done so much for me. Yeah. When I think of your goodness, Lord, to always have a posture of gratitude.
Hallelujah. We are thankful today. Thankful. Thank you so much, Lord. I am thankful. You know, when we wake up in the morning just to get up, we are thankful and we thank God for this day and how he is operating in our lives. We are just so, so thankful. And at this time, at this time, we will have our graduation speech by our own candidate. And I know her words will be inspirational. And at this time, we and she's not only the Salad Victorian, the Valid Victorian, she, she took every title there was to have. And we thank her for the wonderful research project that she wrote about. And I know Pastor Mel will touch on it a little bit when he speaks, but she wrote an outstanding research project. You know, I've heard people say, oh, I can't do it. It's hard and whatever. She nailed it on the first go round. We didn't have to go back and send it back to her for 20 revisions. She had her footnote. She had it together and she touched on a topic that's so vital today in our society that we would never think we would see it, witness it in the church world, but it's there. And she wrote a beautiful research project. And I thank God for her. I thank God for her being a part of our school. So at this time, we will have our commencement address by none other than the graduate herself, Ms. Hula Her. Thank you, Elder Charles Griffin, Sister Marnie Coleman, Sister Carolyn Fennessy, and Pastor Beverly Silas for your kind and beautiful words. Good afternoon, esteemed faculty and staff, students, family, and friends. It is an honor to be part of the 2022 graduating ceremony at Soul Faith School of Ministry and Leadership. I would like to take a moment to thank Dr. Melvora Fulton and the Soul Faith School of Ministry and Leadership for their excellent example. I would also like to thank my professors, Dr. Melvin Silas and Pastor Beverly Silas for their guidance, encouragement, and support. It has been said, the influence of a good teacher can never be erased and you both will never be erased from my mind. Thank you for illuminating my mind and my fellow colleagues and for challenging us in speaking and dis discussing hard topics in our class. You truly have been an anchor to my life and I know as well to my classmates. Thank you both for loving me inside and outside the classroom. And I would also like to thank my family and friends for their continued love and support. But most of all, I would like to thank God for his guidance, wisdom, strength, peace, and joy. I am so delighted and excited to be here today. I am the last person who would have imagined receiving my diploma. I swore after I finished my four year degree, I was done. I was done with school. We can plan, but it is God who orders our steps. Jeremiah 10, 23. Proverbs 6, 16, 9 says, in their hearts, Human plans are of course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Two and a half years ago, COVID-19 caused the world to literally pause and stop. It forced the world to do life differently. People worked remotely for the first time. Churches dreamed online with no in-house service. Parents became teachers. Teachers and students navigated distance learning. For the first time in my life, Stay-at-home orders and curfews were issued by state elected officials. COVID-19 impacted my entire life, including my employment. So I know receiving my master's degree was ordered by the Lord. It had to be orchestrated by him. As I stated earlier, I was finished with school, but he had other plans for me. While the world was on pause, God pushed play and made the provisions. Mm -hmm. He placed me at Soul Faith School and Ministry and Leadership, and I was granted a full scholarship. There were times I wanted to give up, but he gave me strength and courage to push forward. I want to give God all the praise, honor, and glory because he is an awesome God. It felt like it was only yesterday when I started school, but here I am two years later receiving my master's degree. These last two years literally has been one of the best times in my life. And I can say that even during a pandemic. Why? Because I got the opportunity to spend time with my father, 
learning more of him. So therefore I learned more of myself. He gave me time. Time is so precious and not something that I take lightly, especially, especially since the pandemic. I will never take for granted the ability to breathe, nor will I take for granted this life I have been given. If there is one thing I've learned, we can plan, but it is God who orders our steps. And to live out love for God is to love people. I want to enjoy the life he has given me to the fullest. So Father God, I want to give you all praise and glory. And again, I want to thank everyone here who has contributed to my education, to my life. You have sowed a seed into my life and I am forever changed. Thank you so much. Amen, 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 amen. Beautiful, beautiful. Dr. Mel Silas will give us our commis commencement address at this time. And we just thank God for her. Oh, and such beautiful words. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise God. <clears throat> Praise God. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. You know, first I give honor to God. And then the Bible teaches us to give honor to where honor is due. When Dr. Fulton had the desire to open this school, it gave me the opportunity to do what I had so long in my heart to do, is teach. And as Hula just said, you never know how God is going to orchestrate something. <laughs> and I look back at it now and I, I say, Thank you for being obedient, Dr. Fulton. Um, who are you? You have me where you, everybody here that knows me, you know I got some tears in my eyes. So you had me because just to see you complete and knowing what you were fighting and going through to complete, as all students do, you know, you made it. So I guess I should go ahead and do my speech now. All right. <laughs> All right, what a blessing and an honor it is to be here today and to celebrate such a wonderful day as we're celebrating today, to celebrate our graduate and celebrate our other students. This is an honor and a truly blessing. Students that I know will follow in the same footsteps to receive their degrees, their certificates, because they show the same commitment and faithfulness. I commend you, Hula, and I commend each and every student because we know what it takes for you to come to study after a long day's work. And, you know, it's a lot, home, your responsibilities, but by the grace of God, you do it. I'd like to speak to you about four things. This is something I like to tell each graduating class. One is commitment, two is strength, three is direction, and four is assignment. Your commitment, the commitment that you have shown and the dedication to complete this phase of your God-given destiny. As you sit here today, think about what it took to get here and all that you had to go through to get to this moment, all that you had to face, but here you are. It would take that same commitment to follow through on each phase of your life, of your God-given destiny. God has a purpose for you and it's gonna require your commitment. I like the way he said it to Joshua in Joshua 1 and 9. The Lord God said, have I not commanded you? Ooh, listen to that. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I want you all to remember that. Now, the strength that you had to show, think about it. The strength that it, would, that, that it took, the strength that it required, for you to get here today. I know, just as 
Pastor Beverly said, I know that there were times you wanted if you could make it to this day. <laughs> I do remember those times, and I think you do too. But I want to remind you of what the Holy Word of God says in 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. It says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. So in our weakest moments, in our weakest moments, we are strong because of our God. Walk in the strength that he provides. Direction. Your direction on this journey comes from the Lord God himself. For it is he who has guided you. It is he who has instructed you. And it is he who has shown you which way to go. The Bible says, I will guide you with my own eye. Now, I want to commend you on your assignment on your research project. It was outstanding. As Dr. Fulton said, it was outstanding. I read a few research projects in my time, and that one was truly a blessing because it dealt with an issue that we deal with today about racism in the church. And you really touched on issues that we have to address in the church. And that was such a blessing to me. That assignment was awesome. But the last thing I wanna to talk to you about is your assignment. While you were here at SoFace School of Ministry and Leadership, you received different assignments. And by the grace of God, you completed those assignments. That's why you're here today. I wanna remind you, of your God-given assignment, which I call the assignment. What you received from your instructors was an assignment to get you ready for what God calls your assignment. God's divine assignment, that is why I, I have to say the assignment. In Matthews 8, uh, 28, in 19 and 20, it says, therefore go, as you said you wanna do, you wanna go. It says, therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. This is the word of the Lord. And lo, I will be with you always even to the ends of the age. Now, you have a reward coming, every one of you. See, our reward is for faithfulness. The song that we play, I am faithful. Our reward is for faithfulness to the assignment. It is a twofold reward. One, you're rewarded because you have been chosen by God. Two, you are rewarded because you will spend eternity with him. Why? Because of your faithfulness. You have been chosen to do kingdom business, God's business. And that is the saving of souls, the, the, the proclamation of the gospel, the good news. Proverbs 11.30 says, the fruit of righteousness is a tree of life. And he who wins souls is wise. What I've spoken to you about today is four things. Your commitment, <clears throat> your strength, your direction, and your assignment, and your reward. And I want to say congratulations again. Now to all the others that are here, I want to remind each of you. I want to remind each of you to think about your commitment, your strength, your direction, your assignment, your reward. Oh, God bless you all. I put back in the hands of Dr. Fulton.
Amen. 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 That was so beautiful and powerful that each of us should think about our commitment, our strength, the direction we're going, and most of all, our assignment. Because just because we get pieces of paper and get titles, <clears throat> God has an assignment for each of us. And it must be carried out. It, it has to be. When you say you love him and you're his child, then he expects for us to do everything that he's asked us to do. And I thank God for that because it's so rich and it's so true. And on this afternoon of this beautiful fourth day in June, a day that the Lord has truly made, at this time, I would like to present Ms. Hula Her. Would you please stand? And she's with her family. And uh, if you don't mind, Hula, would you take your shawl your shawl back off so your family can put it back on you. Yes, take this off and put it back on. I'm so sorry. That was me uh, failing to say that. Uh, yeah, and give it to one of your family members. Okay, thank you. At this time, we would like to present you. I know you put it on, but I want it to be put on by one of your family members so it will have an extra special meaning to you. Is called the hoodie. So at this time, we, I believe it's your sister. Would she please hood you? Amen, 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 amen. All right, all right. See, I say we may be a small school, but we know how to do it the right way too. Amen, amen. So the official hoodie is letting the world know that you have completed your academic requirements for the master's degree in biblical studies. So I would like to read to you what your degree says. And at that time, your sister will give it to you after I read it. Soul Faith School of Ministry Leadership. The trustees of Soul Faith School of Ministry and Leadership, by virtue of the authority vested in them and upon recommendation of the faculty, have conferred on Hula Her the degree of Masters of Arts in Biblical Studies and have granted this diploma as evidence thereof given at Compton, California, this fourth day of June, 2022, signed by our founder, Dr. Melvore E. Moore Fulton and our assistant dean, Pastor Melvin Silas. Secretary, Pastor Lady Beverly Silas, would your sister please give you your degree? Amen. Open it up so we can see it. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we thank you for that. And, you know, we just thank you for being a part of So Faith. I want you to know, Hula, that at this time, we're not letting you go. I can't let you go. So next year for our academic year of 22-23, we are asking, we are requesting that you come aboard and join as one of our professors to be able to come aboard and teach for the academic year. I don't want that brain to go sitting down and God got a work for you to do and that's to spread what he has been putting on you with the other students. So next we will get together and I want you to plan out a year of studies and you will be on the line next year as an instructor for Soul Faith School of Ministry and Leadership. And we thank you. <laughs> I said, yeah. I, 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 every paper that you have turned in, you better believe they have sent it over to me for me to read it. I read everybody's work. But after I started reading your papers, I would look forward to what you were going to turn in at the end of that semester, because I knew that you were going to be so full of the word of God on time with the word of God. And that's what I truly said, Lord, this is the type of student this is the type of teacher that you want to be able to spread to others. And even though Hula mentioned she was accepted a scholarship from So Faith School of Ministry, I want you all to know she also blessed the school back. 
And I wasn't even expecting that donation from her. So see, we don't never know how God is going to do what he's going to do. And I thank you so much for the donation that you gave back to the school. And I want you to know, I thank you so much for being a participant of the school. And I'm looking forward to other graduations. I'm looking forward to Tara Lynn and Mar Marnine uh, and for Charles. And for all of our students, Carolyn, I'm calling her in too, Carolyn too. You know, I'm looking forward to all yeah, of my yeah. students, students coming on in because see, it's not about us when you complete. It's about when God says it's time for completion of this level in your lives. So even though you have to stop for a minute and even Michelle, I know we, we, we're living life, things happen. But I know when God gets ready, just like you said, the pandemic changed everybody. It made us all realize that our life did not belong to ourselves, but it belongs to God who created us. So I just thank God for you. And I thank God that we will see you again in the fall, in the winter, and in the spring. And you will be on the team of educating and helping the next generation of young workers for the kingdom come through. God bless you so much. And I'd like to thank my dean. Oh, thank you so much, Pastor Mel, you and Lady Bev. I couldn't do none of this without you. I thank God for planning you here and, and it, just sharing the vision to know that we have a journey to do. See, we can all start a job. We can all start, but we don't know where God will take us, how he will lead us, how he will develop us, because it's not about us. It's about how many souls will we bring into the kingdom? How many of those downhearted people will we encourage with love and compassion and generosity? It is so much more bigger than us than we could ever imagine. But I thank you today. I thank you for each and every one participating. I thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. I was excited. I've been up so early. Ralph, my husband looked at me. I've been planted in the living room all morning. And people were calling. I say, don't call me between one and two. I got something to do. If you want to come online, come online. But I knew this was a glorious day because God is in this day. And I thank you so much for all of you. And you will receive a letter letting you know when we will start back up in our classes, you will know. And at this time, if no other remarks, I will have Elder Ralph close us out in prayer. No one has any other remarks, any remarks before he does the closing prayer. Any of any other remarks? Yes, any thank you, members that would like to say something, you're welcome to say something now. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Elder Ralph will come at this time for the closing prayer. Amen. Thank you guys for today. And we thank everyone to, who participated in the ceremonies today, uh, who I would just like to, uh, to encourage you in with my little words of encouragement, which I use the three C's, and stay committed, don't succumb to compromise, and you won't see conflict. Commitment, no compromise, you won't see conflict. Those are the things that I like to to pass on to you and then uh, in, with closing prayer, everyone would bow. Father God, we are so thankful today, Lord, that you have allowed us to gather to just to involve ourselves in the accomplishments of Sister Hua and whatever you lay on her heart to do, wherever you send her, Matthew 28, 19, I know would be part of it, that we go into the world and teach the gospel and command people to be saved and then, Lord, that we baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for Hua. We thank you for all the students who are part of the So Faith School of Ministry. And we just ask you to guide and protect, lead and direct them in each and everywhere they go. In Christ's name, and all the people said, amen. 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 And I, amen. I have one final announcement. Um, Pastor Mel, our dear Pastor Mel, will be celebrating 30 years in ministry, 12 Amen. years as senior pastor of the great I Am Faith Center. Amen. His celebration will be June 26 at 11 a.m. 
at his church. If okay. you haven't received your flyer, we will definitely send it over to you. And we want to be there that day to honor the man of God, even if Amen. you stay long or you know, I know that's the time most people are in their own home churches, but you know, because of the times I said, Lord, those who will be able to come will be able to come just to Amen. show this great man how much he's appreciated and loved. And, you know, I talked to Pastor Mel and Lady Bev, and he's not had an appreciation service of this type. And he sort of was like, mm, I don't know. I said, OK, you don't have to say anything. Just give us a date and you just sit still and everything else will be taken care of. So everything yeah. will be taken care of. We have our speaker, our main speaker, and his church will give him honor. And, you know, I tell folks, it don't matter the size. It's the love. It's the love that will show up on that Sunday Amen. morning. And even if folk can't join us, I know that we're going to have it where you can text him, Zoom him, or whatever to let him know that he is truly appreciated. So that's Sunday, June 26th at 11 a.m. at the Great I Am Faith Church Center. And Lady Bev, Pastor Mel, I know we don't have a flyer. But put your address right there so everybody can see your address so they'll know. But don't worry, we're going to send out flyers, too. You know, this is the new world. You don't send invitations in the mail with stamps no more. Everybody sends flyers and emails and texts. I'm, like, trying to get ready for all of that. So we will send you a flyer. And if you can join us on that Sunday morning, we will so be appreciative. And with that being said, that's our final. After Pastor Mill puts up his address. We say, God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day today. And we will see you at the next open house when we come back in the fall term. God, Lord's willing. I got to say Lord's women. Thank you so much, Terrilyn. Thank you so much, everyone. Enjoy your day. Hula. I hope your family take you out and y'all get to dance in the holy dance, not a holy dance. And uh, <laughs> eat, eat some lots of food. And just have a fun day today. Okay. God bless everyone. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. Again, Thank, again. You. Thank you. Thank you. Con we love congratulations. You. Bye, Hula. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Love you. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, my bag. I yeah. love y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Congratulations. Congratulations, Carolyn. Congratulations, Hula. Congratulations, Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you much, everyone. Congratulations, Charles. Love everybody. Congratulations, Hula Marnie. See y'all next year. Thank you to our professors. I love you guys. You. Appreciate you, you so much. Bye-bye now. Aww. Dr. Mel, Dr. Dr. Mel. Mel you're yes, awesome. You, you look awful distinguished awesome. sitting there, sir. Yeah, I'm going to take it off, bro, and put on my jeans. <laughs> Pastor like Beverly, it. I can't wait to see you next semester. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. I'm coming yes. back. Amen. Oh. Amen. Thank you, Carolyn. I won't be by myself. Amen. Yes. Yes. I'm coming back. <laughs> Amen. Love, Love you all. God bless. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.